tree is by far the most efficient mean to extract carbon dioxide from the atmosphere. He fixes carbon not only in his trunk, branches, twigs and leaves, but also while the roots steep down in the soil. Trees are the decisive regulative of the global carbon cycle. Without them, in high biodiversity, the climate cannot be saved. When in spring 2015 Nepal was hit by a devastating earthquake, it became eventually a moment of introspection for many, pondering over the future went along with the question if destiny should be taken back into our own hands instead of waiting for help from gods and donors. Many fields lay fallow at this time. Most men had left the villages to earn a living in a city or abroad, abandoning peace and proudness for some comfort and prestige. The petty rice terraces were eroding, the landscape became barren, water sources dried up. It was only a question of time before the natural circumstances would render the living conditions more and more desperate if the ecological degradation would not be stopped. New solutions arose at the end of these discussions. An interesting wake up, indeed, that we accompanied with some outsider inspiration and material help. It was decided to replant the abandoned and eroding terraces a large mixture of fruit, nut, fiber and fodder trees. They were planted at sufficient distance to cultivate lower crops like ginger, cucuma or potatoes in the half shade of the new trees. The main part of the harvest should come in form of fruits nuts and leaves for fodder. Although new products like essential oils, natural pharmaceuticals, silk from mulberry trees, paper and building materials were already planned to start new value chains, to procure new income for the village, to create new jobs for the lost generation, to bring families back together again to give hope and trigger an awakening of activity. With the support of the Friends of Ithaca, nearly 50,000 trees were planted since in forest gardens of more than 300 farmer families in the surrounding of Ratanpur and Bandipur in central Nepal. As we can additionally calculate how much CO2 those trees can draw down from the atmosphere and how much of this vegetal carbon can eventually be transformed by pyrolysis into a form that can be sequestered for many centuries, we started to create and offer a new product of the forest gardens, carbon certificates. Three years after, the trees are now two, three, four or more meters high. The farmers have a touch of a smile on their lips when they're droning to their once abandoned fields, where vegetation became again an expression of the natural force of their land and climate. We hope to set with this project not only an example for Nepal, but to create a model that will become an inspiration for many regions and countries to slow down global climate change.